G'day and welcome back to RC Model Reviews and more mini quads I'm afraid but there is some fixed wing coming up. Today I want to look at the first of the hot rod conversions. How do you make these mini quads go even faster than they do? Because most of them they have a pretty good turn of speed, they've got a massive climb out rate. You know they really are a high performance craft but hey we can take it to the next level. And the next level is something like this. Here you go, helicopter flying over. Excuse that noise. This is the MXP230 which you've seen reviewed on my channel before and this is the 230E which means it's got the carbon fiber frame and it has the extended arms to handle six inch props as you can see plenty of room for the props there now because it's got these longer arms and we can put six inch props on I've also put the Sunny Sky 2207 motors on and of course they are supposedly rated at 350 watts each uh, running on four cells with a suitably large propeller Oops, sorry about that, just kicked the tripod. So if we have a look at that, that's 1400 watts. It's 1 1.4 kilowatts of power. That's in the old money, that's about two horsepower in something this size. And it, it is a little bit larger than, your, than some of the other mini quads, but it is still a mini quad. And let's put it on the scales, see how much it weighs. Okay, so here are these, the new scales with the red color, don't show the blood. Let's turn them on, bing, I love these scales. And we've got it in the metric, Measurements, so let's see how many grams this thing weighs ready to fly. Try and move the props out of the way. 758 grams, so it's nearly 760 grams. That's with a Mobius, with a four cell, uh, 1300 milliampere hour battery, with the everything you see here basically, all ready to fly, just plug it in, go fly it. So 758 grams. So are we gonna, what sort of thrust levels are we gonna get from this motor prop combination? I think, what I'll do is I'll throw them on the test stand and just see if we're going to get the 350 watts and what that equates to in terms of static thrust. Okay, here's the setup I'm using to test the, the Sunny Sky motors. I've got the HQ prop, you can see I've got the little label there, HQ 6x4.5 prop, conventional rotation on the motor. Got the same old uh, power meter that I've been using all the way along. I've got a Rotogeeks 30 amp ESC because this is going to draw a bit of current. So I've got a 30 amp ESC running BL Heli and what I'm going to do first of all is I'm just going to put a three cell pack on here wind it up and see what we'll get out of this with a three cell pack and a five uh, sorry six by 4.5 prop let's see how we go now obviously I'm going to have to hold on to the test stand pretty firmly here or it will take off across the room I'm sure let's see what we get Well, 200 watts, and what was it? Uh, how much thrust was it? I'll do it again. Over 600 grams of thrust with 200 watts on a three cell pack. It's not a fully charged three cell pack. Gives you an idea. And uh, how much current was it drawing? I forget. About 17 amps, there you go. 17 amps, so yeah, you wouldn't wanna, even with a three cell pack, you'd wanna use a 20 amp at least speed controller. So let's now put the four cell pack on, see what we get out of that. Right, now for the purposes of this test, I'm using a Nanotech 2.2. It's actually a 45 to 90 C. So that means, well, we should be able to get about 90 amps out of this, uh, which is gonna be important if we're running four motors because we're already up to 20 amps on a three cell pack. So let's change the battery over and try this fully charged four cell pack. I hope this isn't gonna suck anything into the prop from my bench because it is a bit messy. So. We're dealing with danger here a bit, I'm afraid. Here we go, let's select the watt meter. Come on, go, there we go. So now, let's see what happens. What will the numbers say? Better hold this really tight now. <laughs> I better hold it like this, here we go. Wow, that's pretty impressive. We had 400 watts, um, nearly a kg of thrust. 400 watts, my gosh. I'm glad I used this ESC because these things are bulletproof. Um, I think if I'd used a regular ESC, we might have had some trouble there. Um, how many amps was I drawing? Let's just check that again because I wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> Thirty-seven amps. Hmm. So, 
yeah, with 400 watts, actually close to 500 watts times four, that's, geez, that's nearly, <laughs> that's nearly two kilowatts. Ooh, I might, we might have to use a slightly smaller prop if we're going to avoid blowing the snot out of the ESCs I'm running on the machine at the moment, because I put some of these ESCs on. These are the uh, ZW, ZTW spiders. Now, remember, of course, the current we draw when we've just got this thing sitting static is going to be a whole lot more than when it's actually flying, except perhaps for that instant when we punch the throttle on a climb out, because once the prop starts moving through the air, it becomes unloaded, so it doesn't draw as much current. But mm, this is going to be very interesting, because I've got these, these are nominally 20 amp ESCs, although they do have a burst rating of 30 amps, so it's marginal. I really should be using the BL Heli ESCs, but I've put these in my Blackout 330, so <laughs> because that's another rocket ship, which I'll be reviewing very shortly. So there we go, we've seen the numbers. We know what to expect, and that might include flames and smoke, but actually one thing I'll do is, I was using this really high C battery, let's try using the smaller battery, the 1300 4 cell, and just see whether the difference in internal resistance of the battery makes a difference to the power we get out of this setup we've got on the bench here. Right now, this is the other battery. This is the battery I intend to use initially in the um, MXP230. It's a Nanotech 1.3 and it's rated at 45 to 90C. So if you look at it, 45 times 1.3, someone do the math. I'll get my calculator because I'm old. I'll just do it for you while we wait here. Um, 45 times 1.3, most of you have already worked this out in your heads I think, that's 58 amps. It's nowhere near enough for four of these is it? Nowhere near enough. Um, gosh, but it does have an, a burst rating of 90 amp, 90C which would be two times that figure, which would be a total of 117 amps. Still, still not enough power here to actually feed the four of these motors. This battery will not be adequate, but I'm going to try it anyway. I mean, what can happen? I need puff a battery. We'll see what happens. We'll push things to the limit. There could be smoke and flames in this test, but let's plug it in now and just see what we get in the way of power readings compared to the other battery we had there. Let's just zero the thing. I'll move everything out of the way. I don't want batteries suck through the propellers. And uh, let's wind it up and see what happens this time. I've got to hold this really tight, man. It is so much thrust coming out here. Let's watch the figures. On the watt meter, see what happens. Well, we got even more thrust then, but that's because this battery has just been freshly charged. The other one had been sitting overnight. So, whew, a kilogram of thrust. Kilogram of static thrust, that's a lot of fun. 4 kg of thrust in a machine that weighs, what did we say, 700 and something grams? That's a pretty impressive power-to-weight ratio. So let's take the damn thing out and fly it before it catches fire. <laughs> 